hello coders in this video i am going to explain you very important functions argmax and argmin argmax returns indices of the max element of the array in a particular axis if axis is not given then array is written into 1d array next argmin returns indices of the mean element of the array in a particular axis if axis is not given then array is written into 1d array now as you know in the multidimensional array we can pass axis values either 0 or 1 so axis 0 means that the operation is performed down the columns of a 2d array axis is equal to 1 means the operation is performed down the rows of a 2d array now here you can see axis value is not given so please note that index starts with 0 so now here you can see 2d array as i said if axis value is not given then our array is converted into 1d array if you apply arg max on it without axis value that you can see output is 1 because maximum element or maximum value available at index number 1 so output is 1 so next arg min without axis value now you can see so it consider our array as a 1d array flatten now you can see output is 2 because minimum number is available on index number 2 so please remember our index starts with 0 so here output is 2 next as i said axis 0 means that the operation is performed down the columns of a 2d array again please note that index starts with 0 so now here you can see 2d array now first what will be the output of argmax with axis 0 now you can see output is 2 0 2 2 means here we have to consider the column so total how many columns are there here 1 2 3 and 4 but index starts with 0 so out so here column is 0 1 2 and 3 so now that's why here output is four values because we have how many columns four columns 1 2 3 and 4 but index starts with 0 so 0 1 2 and 3 so now you here you can see 2 because 0 1 and 2 so maximum value available at index 2 of the first column likewise you can see 2 then 0 then 34 and 45 so please remember axis 0 means that the operation is performed down the columns of 2d array same output of argmin with axis is equal to 0 column wise now you can see here again output four values because here in this example how many columns are there four columns one two three and four but index starts with zero so first minimum value available at index one of column zero likewise one zero and zero next axis is equal to one so axis is equal to one means that the operation is performed down the rows of a 2d array again please note that index starts with zero so here you can see again i have used 2d array now our output of argmax with axis is equal to one then here you can see output three values why because here how many rows three rows one two and three but index starts with zero so row zero row one and row two so now here you can see one because maximum value available at index number one of row zero now here you can see 20 maximum value available at index 0 1 and 2 of row 1 now here you can see 56 next output of argmin output is three values because here how many rows three rows 1 2 and 3 but index starts with 0 so 0 1 and 2 so now here you can see 2 because minimum value available at index 2 of row 0 then minimum value available at index 0 of row 1 minimum value available at index 1 of row 2 0 1 and 2 now let i show you this practically in the jupyter notebook now here you can see i have imported numpy as np now first argmax 
returns the indices of the max element of the array in a particular axis. If axis is not given, then the array is split into 1D array. argmin returns the indices of the mean element of the array in a particular axis. If axis is not given, then array is split into 1D array. Axis 0 means that the operation is performed down the columns of a 2D array. Axis 1 means the operation is performed down the rows of a 2D array. Now you can see in this first case, axis value is not given. Then our array is considered as a 1D array. That you can see arg array dot arg max output is 1 because maximum value available at index number 1. Same for arg min 2 because minimum value available at index number 2, 0, 1 and 2, this one. So output is 2, index number 2. Axis 0 means that the operation is performed down the columns of a 2D array. Please note that index start with 0. Again, I have used the same 2D array. But np.argmax, here I have passed this array with axis 0, means column wise. So output 4 values because how many columns are there? 4 columns. 1, 2, 3 and 4. But please remember index start with 0. So 0, 1, 2 and 3. Output is 2 because 0, 1 and 2. Maximum number available at index 2 of column 1. 0. This 0 because maximum number available at index 0 of column 1. 2. Here you can see 0, 1 and 2. Maximum number available at index 2 of column 2 because index start with 0. 0, 1 and 2. Now. Again to 0, 1 and 2. Maximum number available at index 2 of column 3. Likewise, same for the arc min. Output is 4 values because here how many columns are there? 4 columns. 1, 2, 3 and 4. But index start with 0. So we have to consider 0, 1, 2 and 3. Same. 1, 0 and 1. Minimum number available at index 1 of column 0. Likewise. Now. Let me consider for the axis 1. Axis 1 means that the operation is performed down the rows of a 2D array. Again, please note that index start with 0. Again, I have used the same 2D array. But now, with axis is equal to 1. So, np.argmax, here I have passed this array with axis is equal to 1. Means, row wise. Output, 3 values. Why? Because here, how many rows are there? 3 rows. 1, 2 and 3. 3. Again, index start with 0, 0, 1 and 2. First is 1 because 0 and 1 row wise. Maximum number available at index 1 of row 0, 2, 0, 1 and 2. Maximum number available at index 2 of row 1, 0. Maximum number available at index 0 of row 2. Same you can perform for arg mean with axis is equal to 1 again output 3 values because how many rows are there 3 rows 1 2 and 3 index start with 0 0 1 and 2 2 so here you can see 0 1 and 2 minimum number available at index 2 row 0 0 minimum number available at index 0 row 1 1 0 and 1 here minimum number available at index 1 row 2 0 1 and 2 Still, if you have any doubt, please write in the comment section. I will try to solve it. Thank you. Thank you for watching.